Number three. Okay. All right. So we're live, and this is BPOC episode 10, Why We Kneel. But we don't actually have to talk about that. Oh my god. I said yes. I Jesus didn't Christ. hear you. Shri, do we miss any house friends? It's okay. Jesus Christmas, man. It's not, not helping. Okay. This is why I kneel. Okay. So, Shri. First of all, excuse me. Let's start the show off right. <laughs> oh, wait. It's not even plugged in. Okay. Turn your turn your cells off. Your cell, like your cellular, because that's giving interference. Is it on airplane mode? Put it on airplane mode. Okay, so. Or you I can uh, hook up to the network. So I kneel because, um, I want. Give a little background. To, to when I kneeled. You're a volleyball player, Sheree? Yes. All right. Okay, so I I play volleyball, and at some schools we go to when we go for games, they play the national anthem. So. That's um, an awesome song, by the way. I love it. So we went to. I can't. I shouldn't say the school, right? No. no. So I don't think it matters. So we went to one of the high schools the first time. It was in a predominantly white neighborhood. And I'm not sure why that's relevant, but okay. And uh, me and my f two teammates, we knelt during the anthem. And then this lady in the crowd, one of the mothers of the other team. But, but before you get there, Shri, why are you kneeling in the first place? It, it seems like I've seen people kneel. Athletes, I think you're just copying them. That's what I think. Well, I think that's the point. I don't think that's a negative thing because. <laughs> what? what you know about that? Uh, <laughs> it's it's just like joining any other movement, right? Because you agree with what's being um, stood for, and the kneeling is to bring attention to uh, police brutality. Right, don't touch your mic, though. Uh, police brutality in America. Mm -hmm. Is it just that, though, or is it just that's an example? It's... Of one of the things... Yeah, it's one of the many contributing factors to the, like, blatant racism mm -hmm. in the country, especially... Now. Can you give any more concrete examples than that, though? Can I help you? If you want, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of which um, one to use. There are plenty we can choose. I mean, we can talk about, you know, some of the more egregious things, like uh, the mass incarceration of black and brown people mm -hmm. at a disproportionate rate for the same crimes committed and sometimes petty crimes right uh i know someone who did we could talk about the bail system and that people poor people disproportionately black and brown cannot bail themselves out and then they can't afford an attorney and they take plea bargains that give them sentences that are disproportionate to the crime they committed we could talk about that. Okay. We could talk about a lot of things. Is that why you're kneeling? Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's like, uh, I think what triggered the kneeling, like what got the kneeling started was the uh, police brutality. Okay. But it's, that's just one, um, 
that's just one factor. Okay. But yeah. Um and to counter the argument that I am disrespecting the flag and that's the national what, see, that's anthem what I would say. because you'd say I'm disrespecting the flag. I think you're disrespecting the flag. I think well why do you think I'm disrespecting the flag? Uh I think I Cuz the military, cuz of the military. I think I'm respecting both the military and the flag. Okay. Because I am exercising the freedoms that they give me, even if that isn't necessarily historically accurate. Yeah, I have some uh I mean, I think that can be debated. Where the reaction to that the purpose of the military, particularly in today's, is to fight for the freedoms you enjoy because of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Right, because no it, it doesn't international force has threatened our um, Constitution. Yeah. Now, there are people out there that are historians and they're experts on these conflicts, but I don't see where... You know, I take recent conflicts we've had with in Afghanistan and Iraq, and I don't know where the Constitution was in jeopardy in those conflicts. That is not to say that what the military does is not important to the American way of life. It just has nothing to do with this. I just don't, th I don't see the connection that I fought for your right to, for your First Amendment right. Like People that who argue that just want to make the people who are kneeling feel guilty for kneeling it's, because it's, it's they don't want to yeah they're trying to um uh shift the blame i guess what do you think what, what's the spaces you making over there baby i just you guys are having conversation what input do i have to put in you yeah, you have an opinion yeah but you, you can guys interject. are like having a full long conversation Say that again. You guys are really having like a full on conversation. I can't like interject. Sure okay, so you can. what do you think? Just I tell think us what you think. I think that anyone has the right to do any type of protest they want because it's their right. And um But don't you don't have to a right to do it any old kind of way you want. You don't have a right to do it <laughs> against the flag, disrespecting the flag. Like well, since when did people suddenly become these like super patriots that like suddenly actually care like that's always been they pick and choose when to care so they can avoid these uncomfortable topics I I, it's weak no one's making it uncomfortable but them the people who are saying that you're disrespecting the flag it's not the f it's uh. not about the flag <laughs> right do you really do you really think that mm -hmm. do you, you don't see the other side of it, how someone can see, I how can someone see can see that and say that's disrespecting the flag. I could see how I can someone see would that. think that, but it's just not the truth. But it's been explained several times by several people. You can never, and they still choose to so give this same BS argument that just actually makes no sense. Well, I mean, if. So some of this is subjective. It's like, well, yeah, but it's not factually <laughs> correct. Stop. Yeah, that's not <laughs> <laughs> um, have you guys ever? Do you know the, all the words of the anthem? No. Oh, say can you? <laughs> <see> <laughs> say sing it. <laughs> By the dawn, I need to uh, see if I have. Like all right. I'm gonna take that as a no because I don't think you would. Oh goodness! Please stop. <laughs> you so you should be kneeling while you're singing it. Jesus. Why? It's a good. It's a catchy tune. It's a catchy tune. All right. Let's look at the lyrics. Mariah sang it really well. I will say that. Yeah, can I have some leaders? Still no leaders. See now. That's the anthem. Okay. No, that's not the anthem. Just do Star Spangled Banner. Like because the lyrics themselves are problematic. We sing the first stanza. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've never really analyzed the lyrics. 
All right, we're about to. Let's see. And I'm, I might put this on the screen back here if I can. Now, here's what I want to see. Oh, I didn't even know the first stanza. I kind of sing whatever it sounds like. All right. So the third stanza is was problematic, right? So Francis Scott Key was a slave owner. Many slave owners back in the day, right? Right, like our founding fathers. Right, of course. I mean, it's not excusing it. Um, but just to put it in context. Francis Scott Key, his background was he fought on behalf, he was he was an attorney, he fought on behalf of slave owners whose slaves had escaped and he helped them retrieve their property, which was a human person, like a person, right. next, retrieve their property. He wrote this, I forget the battle where he wrote it, but you know, there's a Stanza, and we'll we'll read it. As a matter of fact, I'll put it up. <clears throat> Let me put it over here. Let's see how I do this. Right? How do I blow this up here? Because now I can't see it. Now I can't see it. Oh what? Well. What? It's on the different tabs, so minimize that one. All right. No, I won't do it like that. I'll do it this way. Got to go here. I'm going to do it this way. So let's go to one of these. Uh. So should I read the third Can stanza? Ah, here we go. For the audience here? Yeah, let's... let's what are you doing? Should I... S <laughs> I I want to blow this up. I can just read it. Yeah, just, yes, just go ahead and read it, read it. And where is that band who so vauntingly swore that the havoc of war and battle's confusion, a home and a country should leave us no more? Thank you. Their blood was washed out of their foul footsteps pollution. No refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. And the star-spangled banner in triumph doth, triumph doth wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. Right. So, so here's a song. Here's a song that's our national anthem, right, that people sing. That in it, it says, now, what happened was you had slaves who went and joined the other side. They, sh they joined the British because the British promise them freedom hey you, you come with us right. we're free that's a pretty good deal wouldn't you say I'm, I'm a slave here if i go here and i fight for my own freedom i'll be free right so here's a guy saying that you know what the hireling and the slave like you you these guys hired mercenaries you guys hire slaves he's saying listen you turned on us the americans your masters, your owners, we gonna put you in the grave. And we're supposed to stand up and put our hands over our hearts every time this song is sung. There's a reason we skip this, but it's part of the song. It's part of the history. And that has been passed down generation after generation in the form of the things we just talked about. So where's the disrespect, right? I think it's just a vehicle. The flag is a vehicle. The anthem is a vehicle. It's a device that when I kneel, which is funny, like, you know, we kneel for many, many reasons. Let me get out, this out of here. I don't know how, how, how to do this, though. Why don't you close it? All right, there we go. So in life, we, baby, what, do you, what, what are some of the things you kneel for? You ever kneel for anything? Did you go to church with your grandmother? Do you ever kneel during church? No. Yes. You never kneel never. praying to God. I never kneel during church. You sit down. There's a 
I remember I went to Seton Hall and there was right. this so I, I guess that's Catholic. place you could put your knees I'm on. I'm sorry. You you girls don't know nothing about it. I went to Catholic school yeah. all my life. We You kneel a lot. Grandma's not Catholic. All right. You kneel a lot. You kneel by the side of your bed when you pray. I've done that. Okay. Baby, you want to get married, right? Sure. So when a guy proposes to you, you want him to be doing what? Get on bended knee. Yeah. I want him to be proposing to me. And you kneeling. Have to be on his knees. I oh didn't say God. he has to be on You his know <laughs> what answer you want. He doesn't have to be I, on his knees. Whether he, if I love oh, him and he's brother, proposing. That was the wrong thing time. to do. That was the wrong thing to do. Cuz. All right, all right. You knew what you were going to You know my point. You know my point. Right? Mm-hmm. So tell me about your kneeling experience, Shree. Which time? I don't know. Any of them. Well, oh, back to my story. So the first time I knelt, um, after we had knelt, um, there was this woman in the crowd. Mind you, this is a high school girls volleyball game. Right. And she was like, you are all garbage. You are trash and you are disrespectful. Like, like uh, you know. I I'm I'm so happy I wasn't there but I'm I'm happy Yeah, I'm happy you weren't there. Baby, I'm happy. Can I have my mom ears, wasn't please? there. I'm I'm not gonna get into that. But yeah, so my teammate because uh, I didn't hear it when it happened, but my teammate who also knelt was the one being spoken to. She was like you know, she stood up for herself, and, you know, my, um, you're a bad storyteller. Our, I'm trying to pick my words. Just talk. Uh, you, don't you have can't to do that on camera. I, um, well, I want to say my c- coach. I Just already say said my coach. coach. Yeah, my coach didn't approve of us sticking up for herself against this um woman right. this grown woman well how did you stick up for yourself i wasn't there how uh, did you stick up for yourself afterwards after the game uh we had uh we had approached her and we were like you know who you're a grown woman like <laughs> you know well who are you to call us trash well, I, you know, I think maybe another adult should have done that, or like a parent, or maybe your coach. It, it, yeah, it, well, it coach almost, my coach wasn't going to do it. <laughs> well, it doesn't – I mean, you did it for your own reasons. Uh, there are some people who I feel like you're just not con- going to convince – of a thing if someone approaches as long as they're not physically harming you you don't have to say anything if you're going to do something like this you got to be prepared for people coming at you who strongly are going to take the other side it was certainly inappropriate on her part right to mm-hmm. approach now if you were an adult i would i wouldn't say it's fair game i would say you know i think you should expect somebody to say something this is a a touchy thing. People don't want to be reminded. People don't want to be taught. People don't want to be reminded that there are problems we have that are ongoing. And you're rem- reminding them of that. That's right, baby. Stop. You guys don't know when to use that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to change the topic. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Like Bachelorette. No, I don't. What? So, so tell me. Um, I don't know. What so, okay, about. you want to change the topic, but you have no idea what you want to talk about. You right. suggested something that has nothing to do with anything. Like, what does the Bachelorette have to do with anything? I suggested something that I thought you could speak on. Don't you watch the Bachelorette? No, I don't. I didn't watch the season because I don't like the Bachelorette, and. 
Um, I don't, just didn't enjoy the. She was the first black like bachelor. See, or bachelorette. Now we talk about that. I don't. But I don't want to talk about the bachelor. Shut up, Tree. But she, I don't know. She just didn't make the right decision at all. She led so many guys on, and then she just. And then she went with the guy who wooed her the most. Like, no. But isn't that the point? No. Like, she loved, she, I felt like, feel like she loved, um, I think his name is Peter. Peter Moore. And he's so cute. Like, why would you do that? And he loved her so much. And how, like, how do you fall in love with somebody? On a, I don't get it. Like, how do you fall in love with all? somebody? Well, on a on a t- t- on a it's it's a scripted show, and you're buying into it. It's baby. not scripted. It, I'm not saying I'm buying into it. It's interesting, and I think I have the right to watch it, just like Shree has the right to kneel. Nobody's talking about your right to watch no. the Bachelor. <laughs> matter of fact, I brought up the Bachelorette. You said you didn't want to talk about it, and then you went and talked about it because it's anno- It's annoying. This little bug is gonna be annoying me. I feel like that needs to be turned up. Yeah, it does. All right, next topic. Can I uh, rap like that guy did that I showed you? Sure. You rap like the guy rap, did. Rap, 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 rap. That one. <laughs> <laughs> just saying dumb stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I just made up stuff. I didn't know. Okay, well. What else should we talk about before I depart? Um, Shree, oh. don't no, don't don't run out of here, man. You have to all night. Come on, man. We just started. <sighs> you know what I want to talk about? What code switching? Oh yeah. God. What's code switching, Daddy? You swear you don't code switch, but you do. I do not code switch. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I treat every I s- I am the same with everyone. I treat everyone with kindness, but you don't buy it. Who you talking to your friends, man? I just told them good, where I was. <laughs> Miss Popularity. Me. Mm, mm, mm. No one said you were. <laughs> anyway. I don't code switch. I, I, I code switch, but does code switching count when it's strangers? Or like teachers or something. I don't listen. I don't feel. I feel like I can be me, at all times in all situations. Okay, I feel <laughs> so like you. The only thing I do differently is I might use some. I might use language, you know, that's colorful, when I'm amongst friends. Okay. And then if I'm in a formal situation, it's just not appropriate to do that. Our president thinks differently, but you know, it's just not. Oh, well, yeah, that's just being. Right, it's respectful. A, Everybody does that. Right. But I'm so saying I don't, so, you get that's louder that's when you're on the phone. I'm uh, when, with your friends. I'm telling you, I get loud when I'm excited, Shree. No, I t- <laughs> you don't have to answer, Shree. <laughs> Off the bat, you'll be like, "Yo, what's up, man?" Like that. <laughs> that's that's getting excited to talk to a friend, uh-huh. but that's not cold what switching. What are we even talking about? Cold switching. We don't know what to talk about. Give us suggestions. Nobody's watching. Five people are watching. Give us suggestions. It's, sa- it's Saturday night. On what we Nobody, should talk about. Everybody's out. You know what I mean? Everybody's We're out. We're losers. I'm here hanging out with my kids <laughs> <laughs> on a Saturday night. I'm hanging out with my dad. You're 12. <laughs> Do you hang out with your friends on on Fridays? Who you talking to me or her? I'm not me? talking to you. I know the answer. <laughs> yeah, I hang out with my friends on Fridays. Uh, you'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna find and some friends. And I'm gonna be painting the town. See, you think your old man is boring? I'm not boring. I don't think you're boring. I just I know why you have to buckle down. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I did. What, what was I going? Oh, so you know what I wanted to talk about? I want to give what? you, baby. Don't do that, please. I'm so bored. I'm so bored. Well, what are we even talking about? Okay, go hang out with Madison. Yeah, go. She's go hang sleep. Out. 
go back. Okay, okay, let's. Can we get you this know conversation? Cam, going? You know who Cam Newton is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you hear the controversy about him? No. <laughs> Okay, Maybe let's we shouldn't even talk about that. Yeah, let's not talk about football. It's not about football. And let's right? not talk it's about, about l- football, anything related to football. It's in not any about football. Way. It's not about football. It's about ladies. And see, it might get you get this baby started on her feminism. Oh, I don't even want to hear Kalina. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Well, I just want to know what y'all think about this. So I don't believe that third wave feminism oh, is the definition it. of feminism. That what feminism? Just heard somebody say that. No, what, it is that. What did what did what did you just say? It was third wave feminism. What is that? Define it. Thir- no, oh, no, you no. have to. Yes, Google. I can pull up and use my Google. I you can use Google. my Google. What is your interpretation of it? My interpretation of it is there are like two. There were two waves before it, like the basic rights for women okay. and then something else like domestic rights and Both then very valid okay that was valid but not third wave feminism so what, so is, what third is the third wave, wave? That's feminism because i sure. really don't know if you i don't know, know either tell me it's uh, cheating okay let's look it up how is this cheating i'm using my sources and i think that i should be allowed to don't you think um, Kalina, nobody's trying to strip you of your rights. Stop acting like yes, we you are. Yes, are. That's why. <laughs> Shut up. All right. <laughs> so let's get off the feminism thing. I, listen, so Cam Newton is a superstar quarterback, right? Where is he? And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just say it. Let me say it. All right. So that's Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. Let me just say before you go there, baby. Let me just start this. So, he's twenty eight. He's old. Six five. Oh my goodness. Twenty eight is old. Why do we care? Well, for about first football, right? No, it's not it's prime. Okay. Um. So, a reporter, a woman reporter, asked him about you know your receivers are running routes aggressively. Um. How, what do you think about that? And he smirked. And said, I just love hearing females talk about running routes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so condescending. All right, so it might have been. It's funny. You Okay. So, People don't know the t- b- the um, difference between a joke and oh, something that's... No. Come on, bring, in, bring her in. Madison. Madison, come here. No, I want, if she's laying down, I want her to continue laying down. You didn't just hear her call you? Yeah, so go in there, baby. Remember, that was your job. Bye. Okay. All right, and you can come back in a minute. I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Why, I, why do I have to go? Because we, we, already, we already agreed to that. So when Shree leaves and you hit, sit this in this seat. Then you get to talk to Dad all day. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, so... I have a nice side profile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's... like, Listen, I, I know I have my viewpoints on it, and I think that most people who have not played football don't know nothing about football. Mm-hmm. So most of the reporters in there uh, have not played. They don't know anything. Yeah. But... If if I'm the football player, I don't know which of you necessarily have played. I don't, you, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I can sort of tell by your questions, right? Whether you really know this game or not, and you you're only gonna know it to a degree if you played it. That's my opinion. Actually, some players I feel like they feel differently, but I really don't think so. It's, I feel it's, like it's if you've, very. If you've played, you know it best. Yeah, and, and or maybe if you've coached as well. See, th- th- but those are s- such exceptions, right? Like, like you got guys that didn't play at a high level, but their fathers were coaches or something, and right. they learned the game from their father. And they, you know, I mean, some people know the game, but uh, right? No, well, no. listen, I-, I think in a game like basketball, as an example, I understand that. Where there's not a lot of moving parts, you know what I mean? And then if you're looking at the game, particularly somebody looking at the game on TV, you can see everything. They show. 
the camera showing half court, everybody's in the frame of the camera. So you can see how people move. You can kind of understand strategy. That's never the case in football. There's something happening over there and there's something happening and it's and those things are connected, but you're not seeing them. And if you're not playing it, if you've not been around the game, you really don't get it. Yeah, I, when I was watching DJ's football game, I was like, yeah, I, I just cheered when DJ got on. Right. Well, and that's whenever what most people everybody do. else cheered. Yeah, people know touchdowns, field goals. They know their player. You know, Rutgers, number 59, DJ. Go, DJ. Um, I'm back. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Great. You're back. Madison's watching her show on the Okay. Couch. She'll probably be here in a second. Uh so but he, here's a shorthand I feel like me as a football player I might be a little chauvinist, maybe, I don't know, but there's a woman. The chances of her having played football are very low. Are very slim. Right. Now, there are women's football leagues, and there are women who played on m men football teams, and there are women who have grown up knowing about football, like learning football. Again, it's such a small sliver. Okay, but was her question stupid? Like, was her it— Her question, that's—but that's my point. Her question wasn't stupid. It was an actual question that was It, like it was. Cl it was close to being a legitimate question. Close to being. Yeah, close— it was close to being a legitimate question. I think it's how he um, said it more than that he said it. It was because it was condescending. Yeah, you had to see it. It was just like, like he was flirting with it almost, you know. It's a little creepy. It was a little creepy. It, it was a little creepy to me. But that's like. But then he, then, I mean, people got, oh, my God, they can't, like, see what he did and. The misogyny and I'm like, no, I really. Like, I mean, that was a sexist remark. Ugh, why does everything have to be? Here you go, condescending. I'm not a Republican, but why does everything <laughs> have to be so condescending and blah blah blah? Like, oh, he hurt my feelings. Like, it's a joke. No one can take a it joke. Was it a joke? He was dead serious. But it's funny. Okay, what if it was like, oh, that's so cute. You're a 12 year old and you like to wear makeup. That's so cute. <laughs> I hate it. Like, oh my god! Right. <laughs> so she no. has her opinion. Like she doesn't. She. But have you? A lot of people didn't think it was that big a deal. But the joke, um, I, it's like this. It was. It's a funny joke to me, in my opinion. It, but it's it wasn't. But joke. it wasn't a joke. No, baby. It, was, it was actually being serious. But why is it? I don't understand why it's misogynistic. Because it was a little sexist of him to be like... Because he assumed... So, yeah, he assumed she didn't know what she was talking right. about because she was a girl. That's why. Right. And he was now, also like, it's cute that you think you know it. That Even though she asked the... Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to... to I, I, I gave a scenario where I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. The, so to give you a little bit more insight into... I mean, it was like it was, ignor it was pretty ignorant. Okay, but it does, it's not that big of a deal, I feel like. Now, I am also making that point. I'm like, I don't, you know, there's some things, like, for instance, our president, baby, our president, excuse me, why am I even saying that? Your president. Your president. I'm, <laughs> not my president. No, my, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, don't even stop this. Oh stop. I, I fake don't, POTUS. No, Let me do fake POTUS. I don't agree with that because I feel like saying that he's not your president, even though he is because you're an American citizen, is dividing the country more. Baby, you don't get it. You do <laughs> not get it. You, you, you don't get... Now, that is a joke. When someone yeah. says... Your, that's a joke, it's an, and it's an inside joke that you don't quite get. <laughs> when people but say we're dividing the country more, that's just a... It, you, it's a weak argument. How? You're, because ahead, how's that a weak mic. argument? Because our country... You know, we're not like I feel like whenever it's something about being like politically correct or something like that, or so you know, for for example, kneeling, people are saying that that's dividing the country, but nobody said it's that. But these same people weren't saying that the Charlottesville protest was dividing the country. They didn't say that. What? Why is there always an excuse? Why is there always an argument? Hey, listen. Now, what was I? What was I talking about? Anyway, 
there's there's a there's levels to it. I feel like yeah. now if Trump. Dad, turn that off. If tr if Trump uh is on a bus, fake POTUS, and he's talking about grabbing hoo ha, not even gonna wait. And then right? just blew it off as locker room talk. As locker room talk. That's problematic. Now, see, to me, that's that's significant. But what Cam Newton did was, mm, I don't know. I mean, but there are like we can't be, everything is a contributing factor. Everything. Yes. No, no, Shri. It yes. Doesn't, it literally right, I'm gonna does tell you what. not matter. Then what is it then? I, I tell you what. So you know, you know when uh, it's a little people, comment that she has to deal with. You were talking about. Uh, I'm not even gonna. No, I'll bring it up. Go ahead. No, because it's. Uh, All right, I'll bring up something where microaggressions yeah that's, so when that's somebody a says thing, that's a thing yeah when someone and it, says and to me you're so articulate that's what i'm saying that's the same thing as if well why wouldn't i be articulate right like you're surprised that i'm articulate or you're such a great father <laughs> wow now, which i know that's i know you mean it as a compliment a you, i know you mean it as a compliment but why wouldn't i be why wouldn't i be and that's some normal stuff, right? Like in Zootopia, when, when the bunny was like, "You're so articulate," yeah. <laughs> and the fox was that's like, "That it. is not condescending at all." <laughs> all right. <laughs> this, but with all that said, I have had those things said to me. I've had other things said. They don't rise to a, baby. Please don't do that. They don't rise to a level where. All right, you can go in the other room. Why? And you're bored and you. Wait, no, this is exactly what I, I told you not to do. My friends are outside. But finish, finish your statement. All right, they don't. They just don't rise to the level of. I feel like, I think I said this to you before. It's like you, you, like you can probably point out racism, sexism, but you want to like sort of reserve that label for. I feel like more serious things. Because but if you label everything that it it loses its, its its impact, right? But you also want to take account for those little things because they do matter. Like I feel like microaggression is a good word because it's like it's micro. You know, it's not insignificant, but it's there. But also, there's something about intent. There's some, you know, this guy lost there. his yogurt money. They took his yogurt money. He's, I'm sure he has a lot more money. Well, the yoga money was, you know, that Dan and yoga money. All right, but, oh. So, I, 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 you know, it's just, well, whatever. All right, bye. All right, baby, come over here. Close, close the door a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so it's just me and you. I'm gonna let you talk. You can tell me all your conservative views. Tell me. I don't. I don't have. <coughs> I'm not grouped to any group because I'm an individual. I have my own individual opinion, and I shouldn't be grouped to any people just because of my certain opinions. Don't label. So, but that's how people group by your opinion. If you have a certain viewpoint on life, people are going to tend to group you. Okay, well, I shouldn't have to be, and I shouldn't have to appease to those groups. Now, now, give me an example of what you mean. <coughs> like, I don't agree with third-wave feminism. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to talk about that. I just really don't agree I, with because it. Because I want you, baby, to develop. Don't do that. Ow. I want you to develop your thoughts on that a little bit more before you talk about it in public okay do some reading i developed my thoughts on i don't it. think so i don't think so and i don't want people to think i let you go out here uninformed so please let's do some more study on that all right Just okay you don't agree with me I, no i want you to have a well thought out rich deep understanding of the topic before you kind of put it out there, not a little, you know, not just a surface level, because when I just asked you what third wave feminism is, you had to Google it. 
That's not what I'm saying. So I could give you a good definition. Right. So th I want you to know it to a level where you know it like the back of your hand. You see what I mean? You wanna you wanna talk on the microphone? No food. I want ice cream. You want ice cream? All right. Ice cream. All right. How long have we been going? Oh, I don't know. All right. Yeah. All right. So I th I think this is it. Since uh, no, you can't just leave like that. You gotta say goodbye to the people. Jesus Christmas. Bye. You, no, you gotta say. Peace to the people. Point to the camera. Peace to the people. Peace to the people. You have to say peace to the people. Oh my peace God. to the people. That's embarrassing. Say it, baby. Point to the camera. Say peace to the people. Bye, people. Okay. <laughs> Bye, people. Y'all see. All right. Baby.